As we know from naval history, a destroyer's life is extremely dangerous. If they don't take their chances to survive and win in battle, they most probably won't get another chance. But we also know that every rule has exceptions. I'm going to tell you about one such exception. This ship didn't have any recognizable appearance. It's hard to stand out when you're just one out of 175 Fletcher-class destroyers. She didn't become a legend, even though, after the ship had been commissioned in May 1943, she set out to the Pacific Ocean and engaged in combat against Japan until its capitulation and was even awarded with six battle stars. The ship survived until the victory and didn't even suffer any significant damage. She returned home, was sent to the reserve, and then in 1951, she started a second life that spanned 18 years. Let me tell you that this isn't a short time for a destroyer, and during it, the ship escorted aircraft carriers, participated in anti-submarine drills, patrolled areas, and even engaged in warfare around Korea and Vietnam. Now, the ship has received her third life. Dear captains, please welcome American Tier 9 Premium Destroyer, Black. The ship's main armament is represented with five rapid-firing 127mm guns. Black is also armed with two quintuple-tube torpedo launchers. Her torpedoes have a long cruising range and low visibility, and they can deal decent damage. But let me warn you, they travel extremely slowly. As for consumables, Black has a couple of surprises up her sleeve. For starters, smoke generator and surveillance radar occupy different slots. At the same time, there are options to choose from in the surveillance radar slot, defensive AA fire or engine boost. Now, what's the best battle tactic we can employ? Is it utilizing the rapid-fire dual-purpose artillery with its arcing trajectory? Well, you'll hardly hit small, fast targets from a long range precisely, but you can happily upset battleships by effectively firing from behind islands. You can also fire at large, clumsy ships from behind a smoke screen because you have smoke generator with long setting and dispersion times at your disposal. Another possible solution. The destroyer has good maneuverability and concealment, so she can get up close to a battleship or aircraft carrier and torpedo them from a short distance. However, you should always bear in mind that her torpedoes are slow, and Black also isn't a fast ship, so you won't be able to retreat like the wind. And if you feel like going for a spin, then plot a course to capturing and holding a key area. Launch torpedoes to spam a key area, set up a smoke screen, and if such a necessity arises, initiate an artillery duel with destroyers. Her high firing rate and the surveillance radar consumable, which can help you spot ships 7.5 kilometers away, will come in handy for that. With respect to upgrades I would install Main Armaments Modification 1 Engine Room Protection or Surveillance Radar Modification 1 Aiming Systems Modification 1 Steering Gears Modification 1 Concealment System Modification 1 Main Battery Modification 3 Let's proceed with the conventional Armada raffle. Destroyer Black and a port slot will be credited to one lucky winner who, first of all, subscribes to our channel, secondly, hits the like button under this video, and most importantly, answers the following question correctly. How many sister ships did Black have? Don't forget to share your nickname in the game and the server you play on in the comment with the answer. We'll announce the name of the winner in the next Armada episode. One more thing. I strongly recommend that you take part in the website campaign dedicated to the return of Black. The rewards of this event include a themed 12 skill point commander, who you'll get upon completing it.
You can learn more about the rules via the link in the description to this video. Participate in the raffle, answer the question carefully, and good luck, Captains!